Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 13 of Microsoft Word tutorial series and today we're going to look at the font formatting process inside of Microsoft Word. So uh, as we uh, talked in the last lesson, here are uh, the font formatting options and over here what you can see is you can see that I have a sample fax and I want to change the font. Let's start with the 222 uh, font itself. Right now it's an Arial Black. Let's say I want to change it to its native font that is Myriad Pro Condens. So I'm just going to type in uh, Myriad Pro condensed right here condensed so you can see that that fonts actually appears so you can see that uh, now this is actually not here so let me just uh, say myriad pro so condensed actually just appeared over there so let me just select that and you can uh, select uh, on an empty spot you can see that that will actually change the font over here and now what I want to do is I want to increase the font size so I can increase the font size right over here by choosing one of the preset right here so let's say uh, I want uh, not 18 or 20 but I want 19 and I don't have it as an option over here so what I can do is I can simply go over here and type 19 and that will change the font as you can see or if you want somewhere in between I can also press 19.5 and you can see that that also works so let's say I want to go for 18.5 18 let me just press enter and you can see that is there you can even go uppercase or lowercase as you can see but that will just select the preset right here uh, I just want to I just prefer typing because it gives me much more freedom and much more uh, control over how I want the fonts to look like so over here you can see that there's the bold uh, option so you can bold out the font or I can also press ctrl B on my keyboard as a shortcut there's the italics and there's, and there's the underline. So I can use the uh, option. So I'm going to press Ctrl B for bold, Ctrl I for italics, and Ctrl U for underline. And you can see that that is how it works. And you can also use the strike through if you want, and subscript or superscript as you can see. And from over here, you can actually select the outline of the text as you can see. And over here, you can select the shadow of the text that you want. So you can see that now you have a nice shadow effect right there. And over here, uh, you can also uh, select the reflection right here. So I can select this. So let me just select the text right here. Go over here and go to the reflection. And you can see that I can select the reflection of the text as well. And it actually appears at the bottom right there. So now over here, I am also going to go for glow. So you can have a glow effect right there. So you can see that there's a nice little effect that you can use. Um, so if you want to do some basic graphic design, then you can actually use this. And you can also use the other option that is available over here or just use the preset that comes. So I, usually I don't want to use the preset because I want my creativity to sign. Anyways, there's the highlight option as you can see. There's the background and you can choose the highlighted color as well. So just select the font as you can see and then highlight the font just like this. You can see that control Z or control Z go back. I don't want I, I actually accidentally highlighted this. So I'm going to go here and highlight it and you can see that that actually highlights the font right there. And now what I want to do is I want to change the font, uh, this font to something else. So let's say I want this to be uh, Acme font right here. And what I can do is I can also select this and right click and you can change the font size. So let's say the fact is too big. I'm going to say 36 to this. And then I'm going to uh, change the color of this as well. And you can see that the fax color actually changed red. And now if I want to change the font, you can see that at the top, uh, the regular theme font, that is whatever I, I've used in, uh, in the word uh, is actually listed out over here. And the recent font that I use uh, are actually uh, listed out over here. So recently I used Acme font and you can see that it actually got listed over there. So you can see that if you don't, if you want to reuse some fonts that they've recently used, you can simply go over here onto this section and then just click it. And that is how you access the font. So now that is how you can use different fonts and format fonts inside of Microsoft Word. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.